Alright everyone, welcome to part 4 of the old PC blog, and um, it's lunchtime again, and can you guess which drive is my childhood drive? Answer is this one. Now you notice something different about these two? Really not much actually. Um, this one's from built in 1995, this one's built in June 1996. The difference is uh, there's this discoloration, and that is because my parents were, or at least one of them, well, one is still is, but they were chain smokers. So this is what tobacco does. Anyway, we're going to plug this hard drive in. I'm excited to try it and see if it'll boot up. So I know it has Windows 3.1, or had it. Um, I've already pulled all the files off of it because I slaved it well before these videos started. So I'm going to plug it in, and uh, let's see what happens. Alright, I didn't even bother plugging the cables back into the other drive. I'm just going to plug it in, and I think it's set to, oh, it's set to slave. So i got to change the jumper, which you kiddies would not know what jumpers are. Back in the day, you actually had to set these little electronic pin blockers, I guess that's the only way to call them. And um, it would determine if a hard drive was supposed to be the slave or master. And uh, your primary boot device should be master, which I'm... Oh, I set it to slave because I made it a... That was me when I put it as a uh, external drive. Okay. <clears throat> Molex power connector. IDE. We're going to flip it around. And uh, let's power it on. And pray. All right, monitor's on. Hit the power. Let's see what we get. Oh, I had to plug it back in. Okay. Detecting the keyboard and mouse. That's good. Seize the hard drive. What it does next, I don't know. Yeah, I know the CMOS is dead, okay. Escape to boot. Starting Miss DOS. <laughs> oh, it's testing extended memory. Yeah, I bet this has more memory than uh, my childhood one did. Interesting. Well, what do you know? Cannot find a device file that may be needed to run Windows. Um, the path on your auto exec back points to the directory that contains the file that, well, have a picture of it. Let's see if it actually get to Windows, though. Uh, that is a different. A third time and hmm interesting this is not exactly surprising this is a different video card huh okay since I don't have the driver at the moment or have determined exactly what driver runs this video card what I'm going to do is remove the video card, plug in the VGA to the onboard, and see if it'll boot off onboard video. Um, I didn't have a video card adapter. I don't think I did. Um, in the original Packard Bell, and again, if this if this machine is almost the same thing or is the same thing, it should maybe utilize this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna unscrew this, pull it out, power it back on, and uh, see what we get. Okay, back on onboard. It's plugged in. I'm actually not expecting a picture right away. That'd be interesting if it did it. I might even have to... I might even have to go into BIOS and tell it to use onboard. I'm not sure. Well, let's try this first. It can't hurt. Power back on. 
Oh, well, detected something. Wouldn't have initialized like that if it didn't. Okay, we're getting some video. Alright. Let's see if we can try to bypass this. So again, I know it doesn't have a driver, but maybe I can install the driver after the fact. I also don't know where the CMOS battery is on this motherboard. I have to find that. You can see me filming. Hello! Let's see, it's all the Sound Blaster stuff. No valid CD-ROM device driver is found. Looking for my zip drive, which has been gone forever. Okay, let's see if we can get past it. If I get past this, come on. Come on, you can do it. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> Okay, that's fine. As long as you let me in the windows, I can fix the rest. I have not seen this screen. I have not seen the... I think this is all related to the sound card, but... I have not seen this screen... I can't even remember. He must... Oh, wow! Oh shit, we still had it. America Online 4? I don't remember that. Well, I thought we went to 5, but I guess maybe there wasn't a Windows 3 one? Talk about a bunch of startup crap. Uh, let's grab the mouse. I'm doing this all one-handed. Of course, it's got to be behind the computer. Ah, oh, mouse is working. Wasn't even sure that was going to work. Sorry for the hand cam footage here. Uh, get over there. <laughs> That's my old screen name. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, let's adjust this a little bit because it's actually bigger than, well, it didn't keep my adjustments on the Windows 95 machine. Okay, there we go. Um, so, Mega Man X is my favorite Super Nintendo game, Final Fantasy VII is my favorite game of all time, and Skate was because the last time I used the machine, we were doing a lot of skateboarding. I was, um, uh, I think this was still around when I was in high school. I'll try to find a, find a picture of myself and put it up here in a second. If I don't, I'll try to find it for the next video. See if we can make it a little taller. We can make it wider. That's darker. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, I cannot believe it. Alright, so let's say exit that. I know that it was saying something about rebooting. You must restart Windows to activate the speaker driver. We will shortly. Uh, for you for those of you who had after dark. So this is one of my favorite things to screw with. Uh, my favorite was always Bad Dog. Let's see if we can demo it. If it'll, is it gonna work? Holy crap! And it look, it look good. That looks good even without a video card. I was taking a crap on my damn screen. Yeah, you can't hear anything as I have speakers plugged in. I have to get some speakers now. Holy crap! I can't. I, I'm still amazed that this is working. Um, all right, so let's minimize that. I Do I want to? Well, let's minimize Program Manager. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, was either my or brother, my brother's artwork that my mother left as a wallpaper. Uh, which one? I don't know. have no clue. Okay, let's reboot this thing. See if we get... Well, let's see if it gives me any more errors. Got to figure out how to remove those old drivers. Okay, I'm gonna have to look these things up. Yeah, I know it's all Sound Blaster related. Uh, hmm. I wonder how you get rid of the, it from being an initialization. I'm not sure what this pointer.exe is referring to, especially since the mouse is working. Cannot find. Uh, well, yep, yeah, not sure. See, in modern Windows, you would go to the MS Config and turn off all the startup bullshit. I don't know what you would do in Windows 3.1. There'll be some experimentation. 
but uh, I remember the syringe being my choice for some reason. I, jeez, I haven't seen this. In, I can't remember. It's taking a while to load, though. Goddamn bloatware, AOL. Well. Wonder who else is on here. I don't have these screen names anymore, so I don't care if I show them. Uh, MH zero FF seven is my brother Trunks. I don't remember. Oh, I used to have an AIM name called the OG Rod. That was my last one, actually. My very last one. I used it on AIM for years. Um, kind of funny call myself OG when I was in high school. Mostly because everybody was listening to rap and I wasn't. Interesting. What else do we got on here? I remember. Wow. Fucking old school real player. You know what? I have my old copy of Dust. We're going to probably play it on here. If you don't know what Dust is, that's okay. I need to get a mouse with a scroll wheel on it. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here at least. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Pretty sure that wasn't the original icon. Some of this was... Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. I am... So, as of this video, I'm 34 now. And the last time I saw this running, I had to have been 17, maybe, this particular hard drive. I'm actually amazed it's working as well as it is. Um, yeah, the icon, oh man. All the time I used to spend fucking around changing icons to stupid shit. That's why this is toilet paper. Wow. Wow. There's gotta be more on here that I, uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I'm amazed that this is working. So, oh, that's right. It would tell you we're, okay, okay. No, we're going to save that for the capture card. All right, that was a productive, um, call it, oh, I need to squish this a little bit. Seems like certain, maybe when it rebooted it, it changed. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a productive uh, part four. Um I am going to, uh, I, I am, uh, I'm going to do a proper video with a capture card so you can see this and it, it'll look correctly instead of me filming it with my camera, you know, which is not very useful. I mean, you can see what's there, but I can see the flickering and I don't have a camera that I can match the refresh rate and that sort of thing. Uh, but removing the video card at least got us past that. Um, I'm going to probably take some pictures of it. And I'm in a couple of retro f PC Facebook groups that I've been posting videos on. I'm going to see if anybody uh, anybody knows where I can get the driver for Windows 3.1 because I'm pretty sure this is th this is 3.1.1. Um, how would you figure that out? No, we don't exit Windows. Help. No. Well, let's see about Program Manager. Windows 3.1.1. And for some reason, my dad's last name is incorrect. That's not that's not his last name. Interesting. Hmm. All right. I have some work to do for part five. So part five, we might just explore this. Uh, if I can't get stuff fixed before I do the actual recording, um, that one's going to be a longer video because we'll you know go through each one of these things and see what works, see what doesn't. Um, I'm hoping that it rebooted with a sound driver, so maybe we'll get some sound out of it. And uh, I need to find my copy of Dust. Um, assuming it actually works with the CD-ROM drive, I gotta figure that out too. I don't know if it it, it didn't seem to see it. Uh, I don't remember how it would tell if there was a CD-ROM in there. Man, I'm I'm forgetting stuff. But, uh, wow, I didn't even know it had basic in it. Interesting. Okay, well, oh, this is Walnut Creek CD-ROM. Oh, no, just fonts. Anyway, yeah, we'll save this all for the next video. Anyway, uh, please subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if you have any drivers for that video card, um, 
or any tips at the bottom because it's been Jesus forever since I've been in here. And I've never looked at this as a technical support person or an IT person, whatever you want to call me. Um, you know, I know lots of it, lots of pieces of it, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, all right. Talk to you. See you soon. Thanks.